Yo, yo, Maverick fam, how's it going? How is ya mammy? Your boy DM bringing y'all a What's Up Weekly. This one's a little bit sooner than like weekly. I think we might have like two within like one week, but I gotta give you guys an update. So uh, there's probably gonna be a shortage of videos. So this same video is gonna go up on all the channels, but even the website, there's gonna be a shortage of videos on the channel. If you've been following me on Snapchat, and Twitter, you kind of know that your boy messed up his ankle. It was hooping, hit like a, well actually, yeah, I'm gonna get out a real story. I was out hooping, did like a little step back, jumped and fell on my ankle bad. Now y'all know your boy's a hooper, played ball most of my life, had plenty of ankle sprain, sprains. As soon as it happened, I knew it was, I knew something wasn't right. This is the worst sprain I've ever had in my life. And because of that, on the sports channel, there hasn't been videos that frequent and on the let's play there hasn't been the videos that i've wanted to put up for you guys and we want to start bringing challenges back on the daily dose channel and we just haven't been able to do the videos that we want because this ankle has literally like ruined my life it's crazy i never thought that an ankle like an ankle injury could disrupt everything that i've wanted to do so much like it's just an ankle i always thought i don't know let's wrap it up and get through it but Went to the doctor, nothing is broken. I think they called it a level three or a grade three sprain and um, with some torn ligaments. And so like the reason I'm making this video now is I, and I haven't gave, given you guys an update because I've been trying to push through it. And I think that's why it's not getting better. And I was like literally just hopping from the bed to try and go to the bathroom. And like the pain is so bad, like I had to bust a U-turn, I'm in the bed squirming and freaking out and shout out to wifey, she's super supportive, helping me get through it and like, I'm sitting there holding back gangsta tears because I feel so bad because like I care, like I want to do videos and I can't and I'm freaking out because I can't do things and wifey helped me, helped me keep it together and she reminds me of the stuff that like, of course the family's going to be okay, this is what I do to help support my family and putting videos out there and, and earning money from that. And but we could take a week or two off and we're gonna be fine, but I still felt bad. And if I was being transparent, you go through like these phases on YouTube and like these last few weeks, like all the ungrateful, annoying, like non-supporting people have been coming up. So like, it's like one of them seasons where you don't really feel the love, but I know the people that are out there that really, really rock with us are still there. And like, I felt bad for them. I was like, I just wanna get the content out for those guys on the website, on all the channels. Cause I know a lot of people look forward to the videos. Like someone wrote me yesterday and they were like, any videos on the website? We haven't missed videos. We haven't had a, a day where we didn't upload two videos on the website in a long time and no videos went up. And I was like, I'm sorry, man, not today. And he just wrote back with a sad face. And that like broke my heart. I wanted to cry over that. And so. Shout out to the garbage man coming through, just disrespecting the audio on the video. But um, it sucks, man, because I do my best to like always be like positive and energetic. Because I know a lot of people come to our videos with a lot of stuff, and so I don't ever like to be like weak and show weakness. Because I'm trying to be there to help you guys, and so um, I hate talking about this stuff. I hate putting it out there. I hate. I don't. Know, I just don't need it. Like I don't need sympathy, but I feel like it's fair to fill people in. And so let them know what's going on. Um, like it's just, it's just tough because I like to I like to work like I like I'm it's what I do. Like I work hard, everyone knows that and it's part of just who I am. So to not be able to do it's been tough. But had to give you guys the update on that. Uh, I don't know. Like I it's been a few days and I feel like it's getting worse. Because um, he hasn't been resting though. That's why, <laughs> that's why. Um, but it's tough, like we got some stuff that we're doing for our church over the next few days that I gotta try and push through. And um, we have some stuff recorded, like there's a Mutt Wars episode, there's um, there's uh, there's some, uh, like a couple Fortnites I might have for you guys that's already been recorded. So we'll put those out. Just be patient. I don't know. They said six weeks for it to be completely better, but it shouldn't be that long until I can like 
at least I just need to get to the office. Like if I can get to the office and not be like an excruciating pain, like that's cool. And so like up to a week or two, I would say a few days to a week through the holidays, be patient with your boy. And as soon as we can get back on it, we will. Oh yeah, wifey's still gonna make sure that we do a Christmas vlog. So if you're on Daily Dose, expect that. And yeah, we're gonna get creative with stuff on the website. You know, Trent and Juice have some of their series that I don't have to be there for, so that stuff can still go on. Um, so yeah, just know I'm trying. As soon as I can, we're back on it. Um, we'll probably put the P.O. box either on the screen. We should put it on, on the screen now. We did it on the Daily Dose last week and uh, people were still asking. So we got the new P.O. box set up if you want to send anything. Appreciate y'all. Um, and, and wifey reminded me of something. I was like, I just feel bad for those people that like really, really rock with us. But she was like, those are the people that don't understand. And so right. I just wanted to get it out to y'all and be back soon. Um, I probably won't keep doing update videos. So just make sure you're following me on Snapchat and Twitter. Those are probably the main ones just so you can stay abreast of everything that's going on but i love y'all y'all are awesome can i tell them something yeah go ahead i know most of you guys know this already but i'm gonna say it again in light of this video this man loves you guys a lot <laughs> we've been going through it because i'm trying to convince him to lay down and keep his foot up and he wants to escape and go record videos and try to find ways to have his foot propped up. We don't got an ice machine at the office. It's complicated. And those of you that are supportive, like I know you guys are going to be and that are tweeting him and commenting and letting him know that y'all are gonna go watch old videos and do whatever you can just to continue to show your support through this time. I love you guys and I appreciate you so much because we're people, just like y'all are people. And that means the world to me, the support that you guys show my husband because he cares and he loves all of you guys so, 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 so much. So thank you so much for being understanding in this time and treating him like a human because it means the world. Okay. Dang, I'm pulling up at the office and I realized that I stopped him before we did a proper intro and then he just kind of turned the camera off. So, um, just wanted to make sure we finished it the right way. Um, I love you guys. We appreciate you guys and all the support that you guys have shown our family for as long as you guys have been around. It means the world. Um, and your patience with us in this time means even more. So, love you guys. Appreciate you. Until next time, God first, God bless.